So good morning students. I'm Praveen Tripathi welcoming you in the session of IT. We have started our unit three, which is entitled by the database management system. And we are on the session number four. Uh, in the second part of session number four is structured query language, that means SQL, okay? So, so far we have seen that how we can deal with SQL commands, but I have shown you only the select command uh, in the very appropriate manner. I have shown you the commands which can just manipulate or you can say the display the result of already created table. So far we haven't seen how we can create a table using the SQL query. Okay, so now we are going to understand how we can create a simple table. Okay, or uh, you can say a simple database using the SQL query. Okay, so let's get started first. As usual, we will do this in a vertical manner. Then we will start its practical implementation. So how we can create table in using my SQL commands. So tables are defined with create table command. So what will be our command is the command name is create table command. Okay. When a table is created, its column are named data types and size are supplied for each column. Each table must have at least column at least one column. So that means whenever we are creating a table using SQL query or using SQL command, we need to give the create table command. First of all, the very first step. The second step is that we need to na uh, name it also. Okay. Then we will define its column. And obviously we will define its data types and its size if mandatory. That means if we are using where care or care, then we have to specify the size also. Otherwise we don't need to specify the size. Getting my point. So uh, let's have a look to the syntax of create table command. First of all, we have to write the create table. Then I will write my table's name, whatever the table name you want to give, then column name and its data type. And if it is mandatory to specify the size of your data type, then you please. And then uh, you will use this, this separator. The separator means this comma symbol. If you want to create one more column, then you have to use this separator symbol. That means the column sign. Supposingly, I'm creating a table, let's say class 10, and then I'm giving its name, a name, data type of name will be where care and its size, let's say for 20. Then I'm taking age. So what my column name is age. Data type is integer or number, whatever I want to use. And then I don't need to give its size because it's in integer form. Okay. So if I need to give a size, then I have to specify this. Otherwise, don't. So to create a student table whose schema is as follows. Now you will ask me, sir, what is a schema? Schema is a theoretical structure of a table. Mark my point. Schema is a theoretical structure of a table. You haven't defined your table in a practical manner, but you are writing its syntax only. You are designing its phenomena and concept only. So that, that will be considered as a schema. As uh, you can see on your screen that a student is a schema. Why it is called a schema? Because we have only mentioned its structure, its theoretical structure. Okay, so student R number, will be its column name, gender, standard, and string. So this is called the student schema. The SQL command will be, so how we will write this command according to this schema, create table, student, R number will be my integer form, name, character, gender, character, and then I have to specify its size also, standard, I will also uh, use in the character form, that means in a string form, and the stream is also will be in character form. So this is how you can create a table using the SQL query. Now we will understand how we can insert data into the table. Once we have created a table, now it's time to understand how we can insert data into it. So the rows, the rows means tuples are added to relations using insert command of SQL, okay? So in its simplest form, what we need to write it is insert into. The command will be student, please say with me, insert into then table name values and values will be separated by this separator comma okay so supposingly you have created a table named student then how will you insert that uh, data insert into what is your table name table name is student values you have to write this values so you will insert the values according to your column name according to your column order 
Okay, so what is our order? We have to first specify this roll number. So I will write, let's say 101, then comma. Then I have to specify the name, let's say LPS, comma, gender, whatever the gender I want to give, standard, let's say 10, then comma, stream, then uh, comma. So, so this is how I can insert the data into a table. Now you can better understand with this example, here it is, insert into students values 101, Rohit Sharma. Now I have written this Rohit Sharma in a single uh, quotes. Why? Because Rohit Sharma is a spelling, is a word, is a sentence or whatever. It is in the string form. So as it is in the string form, so I have to specify this single columns, right? Male, 12th and arts. So all these were in the character form. That's why I have mentioned here the single quotes or single column, whatever you like to say. Okay. Single comma. So inserting null values, I have already told you how you can use the null value in the offline classes. Once again, I'm reminding you null value means that is nothing that is empty. We will decide it later. Supposingly you are creating a table, right? You are uh, mentioning you are inserting the data of every couple, every column according to, but uh, in a very instance, you don't know the exact value of some particular individual. So for that instance, you can use the null. That means uh, currently you don't know the exact value of that column, but in future you will uh, know. It. Okay. So for that thing, for that example, you can use the null value. That means abhi aapko uski value nahi pata hai, but aap abhi bhi usko fill karna chaha rahe hai, and then you will manipulate it according to the exact data. So then you can use this null value. Okay. N U L L. Isko aapko hamesha capital form mein hi likhna hota hai. Okay. As you can see, insert into student, roll number, name and class, values, whatever the values you can give. And then in the class, I have written here NULL. That means in the class, there will be uh, nothing, but we have occupied the space of memory, right? So this is how you can insert the null values. Now, the next thing is that how you can insert dates. Okay. So dates are by default entered into y, 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 y hyphen m, m hyphen d, d format. That means year, four digits will be for year, uh, two digits for uh, month and two digits will be for date, but will be separated with the help of this hyphen sign. Okay. So first four digits uh, depicting year followed by a hyphen, followed by two digits of month and followed by a hyphen and two digit date. But all this is in, enclosed in single quotes. I have already told you. So this is how you can insert date, insert values, uh, null values, or insert the simple values if you have created a table, but using the SQL query. So as you can see the interface of this uh, open office space. So as we are uh, considering the table creation, so I need to click on this table database uh, model. So I have clicked already now. I can find this tools option, then I can find this SQL option. Now you can see a small command prompt is being uh, displayed into my, uh, uh, you can say this screen. So now here I have to specify the commands. Please zoom your screen, you are finding it uh, small. <coughs> so what I need to do is uh, I need to create a table. So create table, this will be my command. What will be my uh, table link term two, okay. So let's suppose in term two, I am storing name of where care. So I have to specify its size, age, let's say int, class, int, salary, int. Okay. So is this my query correct, student? Is my query is correct? If we follow the syntax of create, uh, creation of table, then first we need to write the create table, then tables name, specify the column name by the using of this comma separator, name, its data type, and if we require to specify uh, the size of our data type, then we have to, as I have did in this varchar option, age, integer type, class will be my column name and its integer type. Salary will be in integer type. Let's see. Okay. Command successfully executed. That means no error in my SQL command. Now I will close this. I will close the entire interface of this open office base. It will refresh my uh, screen. 
database open an existing database that is already named as students finish tables now i can find my terms to table here you can see here you can see the table name of term two okay but now you are not allowed to insert data into it as you can see name age class salary but you can't enter any kind of data into this table okay so now we are going to understand how we can insert data into it table tools sql now insert into insert into our table name is term two values okay so this is my syntax now so our first column was name so i am writing my name only praveen then age 23 let's say uh, then my next column was i think uh, it was uh, about class right so i have uh, listed let's say 10th and then salary let's say 30000 i can fantasize it also command successfully executed now i will close it now i will uh, open this term too now you can see my data has been entered into this table praveen 23 class 10th and salary 30000 so this is how you can insert the data now you will ask me sir uh, if i want to insert about 10 to 50 data or whatever the amount of tuple i need to insert so do i need to uh, type these type kind of commands again and again yes the answer is yes you have to type the command again and again if you want to insert tuples into it okay let's suppose once again tables tools sql i need to insert one more uh, tuple insert into um two then values let's say i am writing here let's say lps its age is about 22 class is still 10 and salary is in lakh okay execute it command successfully executed closing it now you can see okay so this is how you can insert the data into your table using the sql command we have seen how we can create a table using sql command now i have told you about how we can uh, just insert the data into the sql command so this is how we have done how we can create a table and insert a data so as we have understood how we can create a table in SQL using SQL command indeed, and how we can insert data. Now it's time to understand how we can modify our data. Supposingly you have entered some data and now you want to change it, you want to delete it, whatever you want to do is, so how you can modify it. So as we have seen that uh, we can use the update command in which uh, category, DDL or DML? Yes, it was in DML, that means data manipulation language commands. So, uh, because uh, we are using the DML, that means update command. So, it will consider only the table, tables data. Okay. It will consider only the tables data, whatever we have inserted in our table. So, we can update it only. But if you want to update the column name, if you want to insert any column, if you want to rename any column, so we can't do this with this help of this update command. For that, we need to uh, do that alter command. Okay. So as we are using the update command, so it is only for the inserted data. Am I clear to you or not? Update command is used for only the inserted data. Okay. So we can modify data in tables using update command for SQL. So the update command specifies the rows to be changed using the where clause. So which clause we are going to use? Where. And the new data using the set keyword. So we are going to use three keyword indeed. Okay. First keyword is update second is where and the third is set command update where and set command where clause is used to give the condition right so the new data can be specified constant and expression or data from other tables for example to change the record level rol of all items to 250 we would write so uh, supposingly we want to change the rol's value to 250 so how we will write the very obvious to understand update then we have to specify the table's name every time you are doing any manipulation in your table in your database you have to mention your table's name right so update command hai. 
and then items is my but table name set is uh, used to give the new value set is used to give the new value role uh, is my rol or whatever you can say is my uh, column name <clears throat> equals to sign and then 250 now it will be uh, updated next to update the rol and qoh for items having i code less than 1040 then we shall write now we are using the certain condition also so for condition we always use the where clause so update table name set what we want to give the new value let's say rol is equals to 400 and qoh is equals to 700 but what will be our condition condition is that for only those is having the uh, i code is less than 1040 so that's why i'm writing here where clause uh, and then giving the condition so this is how you can understand now i am going to share my screen and then i am showing you how you can <clears throat> practically implement the update command once again i have opened it my execute sql statement command prompt here i am writing or let's say uh, i am changing the daksh kalra's uh, age to 16 to 17 so how can i do it so let's say update update and then my table name, table name is term two, then set age is equals to 17, where name is equals to Daksh Kalra, right? So this is my condition where name is equals to Daksh Kalra, please change its age to 16 to 17. So that's why I have used this three uh, commands, update, is for updating the tables value set uh, which column you want to set and where the condition okay command successfully executed that means our command is right so let's see the exam uh, let's see the changes yeah daksh kalra's age has been changed to 17 okay so this is how you can change now let's say i want to change the print of salary to uh, at least 8000 only so how i can use tools sql update my table name is term two then set uh, so let's say salary salary is equals to eight thousand where age is equals to 60. okay command successfully executed now i can see the result here it is now uh, salary has been updated to the 8000 now only daksh kalra is left uh, with the theory of unemployment okay so this is how we can understand the update command and this is how we have completed this unit number four which was about retrieving data using sql so i hope you have enjoyed this session